Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Amelia. Welcome back to my channel and back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna talk all about bloating. Isn't my cat's cactus so cute? I love it. It's like a it's it's a slouching pose. It's adorable. Anyways, I'd just like to start this video off by saying bloating is totally normal. Loving it, getting rid of it, everyone's dealing with it. It's totally normal, so don't feel any weird type of way about it. So these are some of the tips that I've used to minimize my blow, get rid of my blow, that kind of thing. Or even some things that I've learned about my body that actually causes bloat. So yeah, let's just get into these three tips. And I have a bonus tip at the end for you guys, so make sure to stay tuned to the end. So tip number one is watching out for your veggies. That's right, like we're super glad you're eating your vegetables, guys, but some vegetables actually will cause bloating. I'm gonna name the ones that are most common for that. Cabbage, kale, cauliflower, onions, and unfortunately, my favorite, broccoli. I do notice after eating broccoli, I get super like gassy and big in the stomach, so it clicked. <laughs> you also just wanna watch out for foods in different genres in general that can cause bloating for example dairy i know dairy causes a lot of people to have upset stomachs and indigestion and things like that and can cause your stomach to actually get swollen or swell up i'm not going to just tell you bloating vegetables here are some vegetables that don't cause bloating asparagus cucumber zucchini and carrot Please note that like kale and spinach, if they're uncooked, that will cause bloating. But if you cook them up, you know, steam them up or whatever, it won't cause bloating. So the scientists say. I like kale, so I can attest to that. <laughs> Tip number two might be very annoying to hear, but I've actually tried it out and it works. Drink your water, but drink a lot of your water. Drink a good amount of water. Why do people always tell you to drink water to help you lose weight or to minimize the bloat? I figured it out, I've tested it out, I get it now. So basically when we eat, we consume usually certain amounts of sodium. Sodium is in a lot of our foods, especially processed foods and things we kind of just keep stored up. It's good for storing food in general. They used to like throw lots of salt back in the day into these like storage rooms to like keep the meats all tender and fresh and everything like salt was just always bay so what water helps do is to flush out all the salt in your body because when the salt's in your body it kind of holds on to excess water weight and cause bloat and things of that nature what water does is help flush out all that sodium all that excess sodium that your body does not need and gets it out into your pee for my research, a lot of scientists will say to drink a lot of water even before you eat, so that can kind of help balance out the whole um, sodium intake and things like that, so that's also another little tip. But on top of flushing out sodium, water helps keep us regular. It helps keep our digestion systems really healthy and moving along. So water helps you go number two, which in that case will help minimize that blue. I've actually been doing a challenge with myself <laughs> and I have to drink at least what is it this week 96 ounces of water a day I'm gonna tell y'all right now it's almost 3 p.m. while I'm filming this and I'm not there yet so some days are harder than others but if you want to do a water challenge with yourself I would definitely recommend getting a cute little water bottle this one actually has the measurements on it I'll link it down below I got this from Amazon this is a 32 ounce container I like this one because it sits in my um, car cup holder thing I used to challenge myself first with just drinking one of these a day then after two weeks or so I challenged myself with two of these a day and now I am on three of these a day which is 96 ounces and after this a gallon I kind of want to do a t video on like tips on how to drink more water. That can be a video all by itself because I've been learning a lot chucking all this water. Okay, my third tip is to eat your greens. There's green smoothies, there's green teas, there's green juices, you know, like from people actually juicing their vegetables. There's green juices. And my personal favorite is green powders. So I've talked about this supplement in my last video. This is the greens that I'm using. I'm currently almost done with it, so I do have two other green supplements that I have my eye on, so I can't wait to try those. But this is the Orgain Organic Superfood with probiotics. I've talked about this, I love this. I've been using this particularly for years. You can use it, um, you can get this from Amazon, and it has 50 superfoods, tons of probiotics. It basically helps with bloating and digestion health, health and just keeping your gut overall 
helping it stay healthy. So I'm gonna answer a clip on how I drink this. I usually just put one scoop of it into my lemonade in the morning and it's the first thing I drink. I love to drink this on an empty stomach. Research even says that drinking it on an empty stomach really helps, you know, get your your day started, get things moving and help you out with the bloating. There's tons of ways to actually take this supplement. The easiest, easiest way is probably just throwing a scoop into your favorite smoothie or even adding it to green tea, like a nice little tea supplement. I've done that before. So there's tons of ways to drink this. You can even just drink it straight with some water, but why? <laughs> I will say this particular brand does not have any grainy taste or any like, what is that? Aftertaste, you know, it actually blends really well with my lemonade or, or smoothies or anything like that. Um, like I said in my last video, it actually kind of smells good too when you put it in tea. I don't know what, what it is, but it, it smells good. <laughs> so when you do take your greens, make sure to drink lots of water with it because it will have the opposite effect <laughs> if you don't. You gotta get the greens in your body. You gotta get things moving. And how do we do that? We do that with water. And here's a little bonus tip for you guys that sounds kind of weird, but it actually is very helpful. Eat slower. Take your time chew slower. The faster you eat, the more air you literally consume and the more that will cause bloating in your stomach area. Excess air that you consume equals gas, which equals bloating, so let's just take our time. Taking your time to eat and slowing it down also prevents you from overeating, so just a little thought. Hey you guys, those are my tips on how to beat bloating. I have actually used all these tips and I've definitely seen a difference, especially on those days when you have somewhere to go, you wanna keep it slim, keep it tight, you know. Bloating gets in the way, I get it. So follow these tips, let me know down below if you guys have any additional tips and also leave down below a green emoji just to remind us to <laughs> eat our greens, but not the ones that cause gas. Thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe, join the family and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.